Today you're gonna get my initial impressions on uh, golf ball, my golf spy. Said it's one of the best uh, spinny balls out there and I've been looking for some spins, so let's see how it goes. I'm not gonna be hitting a ton of shots. I've hit enough balls to know what I like, what I don't, I can tell pretty quick. Obviously if I hit a horrible one, I'll hit another one, but probably be unedited, just back to back to back. My honest, honest review. Again, I paid for these balls. And uh, yeah, let's see how it is. And you know, hopefully we can uh, find a golf ball because I've been searching for it. If you watch my What's in the Bag, you saw that and you know, Pro V1, ever since they switched, I haven't been the biggest fan. So let's see if we can find a nice spinny golf ball. And uh, if this video gets 100 likes, I'll, I'll do a super in-depth one. If I like the ball, I don't know. If I hate it, probably not. But like the video. The first ball that I'm gonna be testing in this series is from a company that I never think of when I think of golf balls. Um, I think of them a little bit when it comes to irons, but even then, they're, they're a sleeper. The company is Wilson Staff. It is their Staff model golf ball. It is a four-piece tour ball, urethane cover. Uh, apparently, they've done something special with the paint that makes it fly straighter, hit more greens, hit it closer. But I mean, that's what it says at the back of the box. I mean, if you play golf, if you know golf at all, you know the back of the golf ball box means absolutely nothing. They all say the same thing. Um, I am interested though, because my golf spy released their 2021 ball data. And I mean, it was one of the highest performing balls for high swing speed players who want high spin. And I mean, for myself, that's what I've been looking for. I used to play the old Pro V1 before they switched it. And I'll be honest, it's been hard to find a ball that I felt I've loved that much since. At first touch, this ball does feel relatively soft. Um, I'm a, I really like the line that they've used, uh, where you could, you know, if you like to line your putts up or draw a line, or draw a line on the ball. Uh, I think it looks really good. Um, I think it's a 360 dimple, so that's probably what's giving it the air. That's one of the most overlooked things with a golf ball is the dimple pattern really affects what it does in the wind and just spin in general. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of testing balls indoors. I mean, you get balled out off the face, but at the end of the day, the dimples is a huge part of what makes the golf ball do what the golf ball does, especially on full shots. Whenever I try a new golf ball, I always start on the putting green. And I like to start off with some lag putts just to get a feel. Um, not a fan of a clicky ball. I don't want to jump off the face. So I'm gonna hit a few lag, lag putts here, give you my first impressions and uh, see how it goes. feels pretty good. It's a little clicky off the face. Uh, not the softest ball I've hit, but again, it's not aimed to be that. It's aimed to be a firmer, higher spinning golf ball. So now we're gonna move 10 to 15 yards away from the green. We're just gonna be hitting basic chip shots. We're just, again, just testing the feel. It did come off a little clicky with the putter. So I assume it's gonna feel like that with the wedge, but as long as it's not jumpy, I'm okay with that. So let's get some first impressions here with the wedge, basic chip shot, nothing fancy, just uh see how it goes. Ball, does, ball actually looks quite good. There's certain ball dimple patterns um, that are very offensive to me. I've played Pro V's my whole life basically so it's weird. Golf balls look different. Uh, you know, can put me off right away. First impressions of the golf ball, it feels really good around the greens. It is a little clicky, but it's not coming off hot. So let's start hitting a few more, and then we're gonna work our way back to a 55 yard wedge shot and see how it performs with uh, flight scope. We're gonna move a little further away here. We're gonna start hitting some pitch shots. This is where we will see some spin separation. So felt a little clicky, but not jumpy, especially off the chips. So little chip, little pitch shot here. Uh, let's get some first impressions. It's got a good lie. Again, 60 degree wedge and uh, See how it comes off. Feels fantastic. Really surprised with that. That first one caught me off guard. Comes off quite dead. Um, fan of that. So we're gonna start hitting some full wedges and we'll see how much this ball's spinning. And yeah, so far very impressed.
All right, so we got 75 yards to the flag. Now we're gonna see where the spin separation, this is where we really will start seeing spin, spin change. So I've been super impressed so far with this golf ball. It's come off nice and so, nice and dead. It's a little clicky, but so far a big fan of how it's coming off the pace. So I got some shots here, got 75 yards, and uh, we're gonna hit them and just see how the how the spin's going. We got flight scope set up here. Uh, good line, the fairway, and uh, yeah, let's just see. Very impressed with this golf ball so far, guys. Um, it feels it actually feels better as like in the wedges here. It's feeling fantastic. Um, oh yeah, that one was uh, 6,500. I mean, wet, not new grooves, not brand new grooves. So as we go back, that should be even better. So we've worked our way back now. We're got, I got eight iron here. I'm just gonna hit a few shots of the eight iron, give you my first impressions of the golf ball. So far, I've been really impressed. Comes off really kind of dead, and I love that. I'm, I, a jumpy ball scares me, so I've been really impressed. So I'm interested to see if that carries over to the irons. This is where we should start seeing that really big spin uh, differential between other balls. Um, so far, really impressed. So let's hit a few and uh, see how it goes. Impressed. Very impressive golf ball. Uh, comes off awesome. It comes off dead, which I love. So give it a try. All right. So these are the two shots I just hit. The ball came off fantastic. I'm really impressed with this ball so far. It comes off very dead. Uh, not like it goes. It just doesn't have that jump to it. Even though I was a little worried with the putter because it had that click. So uh, these are where the balls ended up. Uh, the first one. Uh, the first one is right back there just past the flag other ones there so they landed almost in the same spot um really feels like a great ball it comes off kind of what i've been looking for uh so we'll see what happens i'm gonna hit a few long irons see if it kind of gives the same feel um flight scope's dead so hey um, and then we'll hit some long ones we'll hit a few drivers i'll give you my overall first impressions and uh, yeah, so overall really impressed with this ball so far. I'm gonna hit a few long irons. I'll tell pretty quick if this is for me. Um, mid irons right away I knew the ball's fantastic. I didn't need to hit a ton. If you want a bunch of data, let me know in the comments below. I'll go into a way more detailed one. So let's hit a few long irons. Let's see how it is. Really big fan so far of how the flight was with that, uh, with the eight iron. So put a good one and see how it is. That's fantastic. That is a very, very good golf ball. You can see it spinning as it gets the long irons. So if you do struggle controlling that spin, that might be a problem, but I personally love that flight. I mean, I'm well, I'm very impressed. Um, not just saying this, again, I paid for these balls. I'm not being paid to say anything. Very impressed with the Wilson golf ball so far. Love the feel and it's performing fantastic. <laughs> I mean, those are, one's a little short, but this is a very demanding part three and like, let's go take a look and see that and finish off with a few drives and I'll give you my final initial impressions. This is my first time hitting these shots. Uh, I'll probably leave it unedited just because I want you to see how I'm seeing it. So um, that first one was a really great shot. I uh, love the flight on this ball, especially with the long irons. Had enough spin to keep it up in the air and uh, stopping. This is a very uh, small green. So the first one is tight. Um, again, I hit that. That was fantastic. The That was the third shot. Again, a really good shot. Um, we're playing this hole around 205 yards. And then the second one was uh, right back here. So 
again, so far really impressed with this golf ball. Um, Wilson, you know, I think we all get caught up in just playing Pro V's because it's familiar, but uh, I'm glad I'm gonna try. I mean, I'll be honest, it feels better than a Pro V1X and it's spinning like one. So really impressed with it so far. I'm gonna hit a few drives, wrap it up. If you get this video to a, if you, if you want a more detailed one with data and you know, tons of shots, um, get this video to 150 likes. And that's a lot for me. So, uh, and I'll do an in-depth, super detailed one with TrackMan, all that. Uh, Flightscope died, sorry. Um, and we'll we'll do a super, super in-depth one of this ball because I'm very impressed with it. I, I'm gonna play it for a while and, you know, maybe come back with a part two. But. All right, guys, I found a charger for the Flightscope. So I got, I'm gonna get some data on these last few. I'm gonna hit three drives, kind of get my first impressions. You're not gonna feel much of a difference. And if someone does say they feel that they got better feel than anyone I know. So <laughs> we're gonna hit driver. We get some uh, initial impressions here and uh, see the spin. So let's uh, let's give her a rip and see. So the spin was 2700. So I mean, it's not super high spinning off the driver. Uh, a little low in the face. Again, 2300 spin. Um, if you're worried about this ball being too high spin, I know it says it's a high spin ball. I mean, it could be more to do with your technique. Let's see how that's funny. So that was on the higher spot side. That was 2800. And I love that. I think most people don't have enough spin on their driver. You're gonna hit more fairways. Uh, so far this ball's checking all the boxes for me. Um, we have a tiny little into the wind here. So 2,800 RPMs, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm loving that. Let's hit one more. I'm actually hit one more. Let's hit it, let's see. Let's see if we can get one out there and uh, see what this ball's doing. Let's see what kind of ball speed we're doing. Really so this ball. I'm impressed. That's fantastic. So it's it's fluctuating between 2,000 and 2,900. Um, so it is on the spinnier side. Um, I do have a pretty fast club head speed so that's not that's kind of where I want to see it. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with this golf ball. It's really good. Um, it's fast. Uh, that last drive I hit, I checked it as I was putting the flight scope away, it was uh, 178 ball speed. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty impressive. I'm very surprised by Wilson. I mean, I was a Titleist snob, I guess. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, guys. Follow me on all its social media, at agolfer. Have a good one. And remember, get this video to 100 likes, and I'll do an in-depth version of this ball with all the data, if that's what you want to see. I just, there's a lot of people who do that. So, you know, these are my first impressions and let me know what you want, what you want to see next. Have a good one.